Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. This is our final game of Week 5. It is the San Diego Toreros traveling to Flagstaff, Arizona to take on the Northern Arizona Lumberjacks in a Pac-10 matchup. San Diego is 1-2 and two on the season. They are struggling. They had a losing record last year. They're trying to right the ship under second-year head coach Jack Brown. And, I mean, they just there's really no answers for them. Their offense is just spitting and sputtering. And that's pretty much it. But <laughs> hopefully they can come into Flagstaff and get a victory here. They have the dead last pass offense. 119th in the country, guys. 119th. What What do you mean? What is this? Let me, <laughs> let me share this in the Discord real quick. They do have the number three defense in the country, though. Number one pass defense. So there is some bright spots on the Toreros. Let you guys take a look at that. But their offense, 110th. That's just, that's rough. But another good thing, Northern Arizona is allowing nearly 500 yards per game. So hopefully the Toreros can get in there and possibly get some yards, maybe. You know, at least like 300. That would be an improvement over the 273 that they've got now. Let's see what we got in the chat. Ed Fredrickson, Rigia Productions, and Zachary Joseph in the chat. What's going on, everybody? Don't forget to slap the like button on the video. Subscribe if you're new. And get in that Discord community to get your college football career started today. All right, let's do this. Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. Another suspension. How many is that this week? John Perez, a.k.a. Pete Mitchell, in the chat. What's going on, man? Hope you're doing well, my friend. A little mic in the chat. All right, Doug Lay, what did you do now? Skipped the last position meeting. Oh, boy. All right, I guess uh, one game for Doug Lay, so they're going to have to rely heavily on Demetrius George, Mr. Primetime himself, and the ground attack. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I'm scared. Let me make sure I got the right offense here. All right, exciting. And we are not going to go baby blues, not in this game. Go all whites. And a balanced run offense. Very exciting. All right, let's do it. <laughs> all right, who else we got? Marvin Joseph in the chat. What's going on, brother? Chaos Driven on My Sweet Revenge's YouTube. Feels weird. <laughs> Alright, so this this should be uh, should be interesting, guys. And by interesting, I mean we're either going to get spanked in this game, or we're going to, you know, win a close one. Who knows? 59 overall is out. I know, that could be game-changing, guys. Look out! Alright, we're on offense first. Take a look at the San Diego offense, led by sophomore quarterback Xavier Wilson. Junior halfback Robbie Ballard. Bo Davis at fullback. Doug Lay, he's suspended for this game. So we'll see Demetrius George and Riley Porter get all the action at receiver. And Brick Wall is the left tackle. Here is prime time. George on the return and breaks the tackle and gets up to the 26-yard line. Let's do it. Harris Gurley in the chat. Big day for him today for Southern Utah. A few touchdowns on the ground for him. Got the AC unit. Nice. Let's go. All right. First and 10. And a decent start. About a four yard pickup for Ballard, who averages 100 yards per game. So he's up over 300 for the season. Be cool to go to an FCS football game. Yeah, that would be cool. I have seen an FCS football team play. They didn't score the entire game, but <laughs> their band was amazing. And that's all that matters. Let's go. Let's go get that block. Let's go, Xavier. Okay. Up to the 47. You'd love to see it. Let's go play action boot. Yeah, I watched the Miami Hurricanes, what, two years ago? Back in 2018? 
Um, in Miami Gardens, taking on the Hurricanes, they lost 77 to zero. But I tell you what, it was fun. Okay, Mason, I see you. San Diego, one point favorite. You love to see it, man. Ron Kemp in the chat, Jay Washington. Hope everybody is having a fantastic Friday night. Again, this is our final game for week five. Right. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, Mason's open again. Easy money right there. So far, the offense is looking pretty decent in the first quarter. Go out route for Riley Porter. And overthrown by Xavier Wilson. Feels bad. Went to an Arkansas game. When they played Missouri State and Tennessee State, both games were bad and had about five to ten fans in both games. Fantastic. Gotta love the atmosphere. They're down. Keep those blocks. Let's go, Ballard. And the first down. Let's go. I saw Troy play against Florida AM. Fans were lit even when they were getting blown out 72 0. HBCU fans are always lit, man. I love it. I love the atmosphere. That's not what I wanted to do, but we'll go with it, I guess. Oh, nice pump fake. Oh! Oh, Xavier, baby, you got smacked up. Looking like Tina Turner out here. What's up? How's my day been? Well, it's it's been okay, I guess. It'd be better if I didn't have to keep coming home to a completely empty house every single day. But, other than that, you know, I'm alive. I'm breathing. We're going to take that first down, though. What's up? All right, first and go. Loyal HBC fans. Not the ones that leave after the halftime show. Well, that's why a lot of them go. Let's go, Robbie. Up to the two. Okay, let's go. All right, let's see. Single back, a slot. Half back slam. Let's go. This should be easy money. Switch it up to the right side. Bobby Ballard walks in. Let's go. Touchdown, Torero. What I'm talking about. Great drive to start things off. Three minutes exactly on that drive. Let's go. Couldn't have asked for a better start for the Toreros. 10 plays, 69 yard drive, three minutes off the clock. Let's get it. Now we're about to kick it off. Here's the defense for San Diego, led by Boone Johnson at DN. DJ Payne at defensive tackle. Two middle linebackers, Luke Moss and Rob Roy. Isaac Price at corner. And true freshman, Zachary Joseph at corner as well. Marcus Green at free safety. And Dylan Tong is the strong safety. He leads um, he led the league. Yeah, the league. The <laughs> led the nation in interceptions last season, I believe. Pretty sure that was a trivia question the other day. All right, let's get it. Let's go defense. Oh, that was a nice play. He's fast. Oh, boy. Rob Roy saves the touchdown. Two of the San Diego Discord players might be going to the EFL. Well, if they're juniors, they could declare if they wanted to. They do have some solid talent, like especially on the defense. Dylan Tong, Boom Johnson, DJ Payne, 
uh, Luke Moss. These are all really good players that are eligible for the draft. Good pass right side. Caught by Bell. His momentum carries him out of bounds. <laughs> Marvin, let's not get started on Bobby Petrino. Uh, that's, that's a road we don't want to go down, my friend. Let's go! Dylan Tong! Oh, he got laid out, but he held on to it. Let's go! Huge play. Toreros, all the momentum here in Flagstaff, Arizona. I read that like a book. Yeah, Demetrius George might go pro. Robbie Ballard might go pro as well. Central Arkansas field is awesome. Yeah, I love that one. It's very unique. Oh, boy. Throw it up. And Demetrius George at the 35-yard line. So, so far, we got one touchdown for Tess. And primetime is not here to witness anymore. And it feels bad. Somebody tag him in the Discord right now. I love you. All right, let's get it. Play action. Step up in the pocket. George is open. Oh, no. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, no. What do you mean? Feels bad. Wish you could see Cam Newton playing college again. I, I wish that he had been there for more than one season. Just to see if he could dominate like that again. Let's go, Robbie. Let's go, Robbie. Robbie Ballard. Still going all the way down to the 12. No, it's a flag. Okay, we'll take that. Let's go. First and goal, baby. Yeah, Eastern Washington's field is red. Not in this game, though. Sadly. Feels bad. San Diego, perfect in the red zone this season. Uh-oh. Oh, he, he actually fit that in there to George. He just got knocked over and, and just dropped it. Feels bad again. There's just so much feels bad right now for San Diego. Of course I thought the flag was on us. Of course. Why wouldn't it be, you know? Okay, Xavier. Touchdown for Tess. Let's go. Terreros take the two-score lead in the first quarter. Offense looking good right now. What a spin move on the corner. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah. Extra point is up and good. What's up? Oh, yeah. All right, let's do it. Yeah, Cam definitely could have won multiple Heismans for sure. Tay Ray in the chat. What's going on, Tay? That was a perfect kick. They can't return it. Very nice. Let's go. Yeah, if him and uh, Nick Fairley would have stayed, oh my goodness. That team was nasty. Let's go defense. Dylan Tong had a pick last drive. Oh, batted down at the line of scrimmage by, I believe that was DJ Payne, the big defensive tackle. Or it might have been Boom Johnson. It was hard to tell. Spotted it down so fast. Good pass. Okay. Get that weak sauce out of here, son. That guy's body was very disproportionately sized, and I, I don't agree with it. Yeah, Michael Dyer, oh my goodness. He was so good. Didn't he end up going to play for Arkansas State? I don't remember what happened after that. Alright, that was a very quick three and out. What is what is happening right now? I don't know, but I'll take it. That is for sure. Watch our first ever block kick's gonna be with San Diego. 
history will be made. Aw, not today. Zachary Joseph on the return. And he jukes out three defenders. That was awesome. Unfortunately, comes back. Oh, it was Louisville that Michael Dyer went to? Okay. Why did they decline that? All right. There was a big name running back that went to Arkansas State, though. I can't remember who it was. I think it was in, like, 2010-ish, around there. Let's get it. Take off. Let's go, Xavier. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Down to the 43. We'll take that. When's the next time San Diego will have a home game? It's been a minute since they had one. I don't know, man. We'll see after this game. I'm pretty sure they have a game in week six as well, so we'll see. Right after uh, the game is over, we'll be taking a look at... Um, Everything, the next schedule for week six and all that fun stuff. This man is wide open. He better not drop it. Let's go. Touchdown for test number three of the game. Let's get it. He was wide open. San Diego has made a bowl game. Season one. Everybody made a bowl game in season one. Southern Utah had a losing record. They went six and seven. They lost their bowl game. Last season, San Diego had a losing record and did not make a bowl game. They were the first team to ever do it. I can't believe how wide open that receiver was. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Feel like you're going to get your first interception or punt return touchdown? I hope so, Zach. I hope so, buddy. Interception would be nice right on this drive. And huh? let's do it. Marcus Green on kickoff. Why? Nice tackle anyway. Very nice. Southern Utah suck. Now look at them. Yeah, they, they were pretty rough in uh, season number one. All right. Man coverage. Let's get it. Shut up, William. Nobody wants to hear you meowing, all right? Now the San Diego offense is being useful. I know. It feels good, man. What is that guy's name? Bonelli. Okay. Awkward. Yeah, I'll take that to the house. House call. Dylan Tong is second pick of the game. Let's go. Touchdown for test number four in the first quarter. This game is getting ugly here in the first, boys and girls. Oh my goodness. Mexican standoff coming soon. I'm telling you guys, like every single night when I get home from work, they're just staring at each other in the hallway when I come upstairs. Like, please get away from me. <laughs> All right, 28 nothing. Goodness gracious. Yeah, return that. 2010 Auburn team was deadly. Yeah, they were really good. And Oregon almost beat them. Oregon was so good that season, too. I loved watching that offense. It was insane. And their defense. Their defense was phenomenal in the championship game. All right, there's a sack. I didn't even see who it was. Was that uh, number 95? That was DJ Payne, if it was. If San Diego reaches a 50 bomb, you're done. <laughs> it's possible. You're in the first half, probably. Who won it? Oh, I misplayed it. Feels really bad. I might cry. Clay Matthews' brother, Casey Matthews. Yeah, he was good. Was it Casey? Yeah, I think so. He was really good. They also had, I can't remember his name, but they had a white safety. Boyette, I think. 
I think that was his name. He was really good too. They had Josh Huff. That team was just so nasty. Their offense, I mean, you don't even have to say like any of the players. Oh! Oh, Dylan Tong! That man had a family! Oh my goodness! Everyone's dying on the field! <laughs> Get him a body bag! <laughs> oh my goodness! I don't know why they're so showing uh, Joseph. He was just there. He was in the vicinity. But what a hit. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> what is happening in this game? <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> oh, you gotta love the Pat Mac if you talk. You gotta love it. Yeah, they have the Michael James at uh, running back. G. Anthony Thomas. In that weird position that he was in. That was a great that was <laughs> that was a great play. He read that so good. Dylan more like Ray Lewis with a knife. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Stop it, Jake. Stop it. Well, that was unfortunate. That's all right. We'll get the, we'll get the ball back. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, get out of here. Let's go. Sit down. Sit down, son. <laughs> what do I think of the uniforms? Of Oregon's uniforms? I love their uniforms. All their, like, 25 million combinations that they have. I love them. Anytime a team can switch up that many times but still look like the same team, I mean, that's just that's just super cool in my book. Bro, are you serious? No! Wow! Oh, my goodness. No way. What? <laughs> that was bonkers. Get out of here. <laughs> Benelli. Oh, baby! That was insane, guys. Try me again. What's up? Let's go. You won't. Bet. Okay. They're just going to run it all the way for a touchdown. Untouched. Sick. I don't know what happened to my four linebackers on the play. Lumberjacks finally get on the board. That whole drive was just nuts. <laughs> just absolutely insane. They deserve the touchdown after that reception off of the Dylan Tong deflection. You wonder who controlled the cornerback? Um, the computer did, Harris. What do you mean? Oh, wow. If Oregon beat Auburn in that title game, I don't think Cam Newton goes number one. Oh, boy. That was just an awkward play. All right. Get back to business here. Need those lime green socks that Oregon wore during the championship game? I know those were nice. What is this play? <laughs> All right. I guess we're throwing it now. So usually I just like traditional uniforms. Like I love Penn State's uniforms, USC, you know Miami's uh, green pants, and white top, and stuff like that. Oh, come on, Riley. Get there. Riley Porter at the 32. Let's go. But I, I like the traditional uniforms, but I also occasionally like uniforms that are just, you know, just cool designs and whatnot. Cool color schemes. I don't know. I'm weird sometimes when it comes to uniforms.
who has the best D-line in the nation? Uh, UC Davis. 100%. Probably Baylor can't block or can't get any blocking. Awesome. Imagine if Cam went to the Broncos and Von Miller to the Panthers. Well, Panthers probably won a Super Bowl. Just saying. Who knows? Maybe they would have gotten Peyton Manning. You know? Imagine all the crazy things that could happen here. What? What is that animation? I just wiggled around for five minutes. What is that? Oh my goodness gracious! That was terrible. Do it. Can I get can I get some blocking? What is happening? They literally just stopped blocking on the right side. Alright, let's try a field goal. It's a 51 yard attempt. Not even sure who the kicker is, to be honest with you. His name is Young. Hopefully he's alright. Perfect. Young's kick is up, and it's good. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. 31 to 7 now. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. What's going on? Chaos driven in the chat. My brother. My brother. You better slap that like button if you haven't already. That's right. I'm talking to all of you. I love you. Please. Someone love me. Hammer Jammer in the chat. What's going on, brother man? San Diego's finally winning. I know. Their team's doing really well right now. The defense. Oh, this is a halfback pass. Yes. No face mask. Why? Why? <laughs> Feels bad. Defense wins championships. Yes, sir. Come on, do it again. You won't. They won't. Yeah, good luck with that. I just blitzed seven people. It owes you money, so he slapped it hard. I like it. <laughs> Alright, let's go zone coverage here. Second and five. Need a good offense to win games? Yeah, kind of. A little bit. Sometimes. Come on, baby. Good tackle. Let's go, Rob Roy. That's what I'm talking about. All right, third and five. Let's blitz the outside linebackers. Let's get a little froggy here and take a leap. Let's go. Help me, Demarcus. What? What was that? What was that animation? I hit L1 and it looks like he's splashing his face with water. Like, that's all he did. Got the AC unit in. Nice. Love to see it, man. Be all nice and cool and stuff. Hey, they're gonna go for two here. Feels weird. Hate that animation. Yeah, me too, Jay. Like, why is that even a part of the game? Honestly. Yeah, good luck with that two-point conversion. Sit down, DJ Payne, with a tackle for a loss. All right, let's do it. Dimitri is prime time. George on for the return. Oh my! Wow. Pray for him. Goodness gracious. Should have took the extra points too early to go for two. I agree. 100%. Robbie Ballard, nice little juke move. Picks up nine yards. Would have been more if he didn't get caught on his own blocker.
Oh my goodness. What is this? Zero blocking. Think about the children. <laughs> Alright, linebacker's in the zone. We're gonna hand it off to Bo Davis. He's got the first down. Let's go, Bo! Bo knows. Alright, first down of 10. We got three timeouts left. Oh, circle was open. This offensive line is booty. Just just actual booty, just stinking it up. Come on, really? What is this? A good thing Porter's open. Oh my. Oh. Why? <laughs> Why? Cal Poly versus Southern Utah. Who will win? Probably Cal Poly. Bro, what is this? Just instant pressure from every side. All right, brother. Go eat some delicious food, man. Castillo on for the punt. Keep it away from him. And goes out of bounds around the 27. <laughs> I knew you'd like that answer, Jay. <laughs> In all seriousness, no, I, I, I think I think that Cal Poly would win that game. Cal Poly's done really well in computer versus computer games. I mean they beat Jacksonville twice. And Sugar Bowls. Oh, oh, oh Zachary. <laughs> oh, pick up your jock strap, freshman. First down to 10 after that nice little play. Throw it my way, I dare you. Oh, let's go! Fell! Oh, he just died. He just literally took his legs right off. Right at the knee. That was a nice deflection by Luke Moss. Okay, Robbie. Okay, good block down there by prime time. All the way down to the 17-yard line. Let's go. <laughs> I picked wrong. <laughs> Listen, I'm pretty sure it'd be a good game. But if we look at the track record for Cal Poly in games against other subscriber teams, they have done very, very well. They have some trophies to prove it. Go prime time inside the five yard line. First and goal down to the three. Does Cal Poly quarterback do good in computer versus computer games? He does. I'm telling you, go back and watch the Sugar Bowl from season one against Jacksonville and in season two against Jacksonville. I'm telling you, check it out. Zero blocking up front. It's absolutely phenomenal. I love it. I, I want more of it, please. What in tarnation was that? Please, O-line, can you do anything for me? I will give you a cookie. Big old chocolate chunk cookie. Let's go. Just do something. Anything. Come on. Why not? 
through it with six defenders and we still almost caught it. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, another field goal here. Okay, I'll probably be in my game so Marvin doesn't get mad. <laughs> it's all right, we love Marvin, we do. Field goal is up and it is through. It's 34 13 with one second left. Let's go for an outside kick. Let's do it. Cal Poly stands no chance against VMI. Well, you never know, man. You just never know. And that's the end of the first half. San Diego on top 34 to 13, folks. Let's go. Guerrero's looking to get back to 500 on the season. They are 1 and 2 currently. Lumberjacks looking to get above 500. Yeah, you did win last year. You sure did. I'm telling you, it doesn't it doesn't matter. Just anybody can win anytime. It doesn't matter. Nice tackle. Let's go, Jackson. I don't know you, but that was a good play. Kepa is a tough out, no shoeing at all, but VMI would smoke him. Oh, the confidence from a freshman that can't intercept any passes. Feels bad. <laughs> Get him! But he do make fire graphics, though. He do do that. Alright, second down and ten. Let's go. And nice deflection. Let's go, Isaac. I see you. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Come on now. You know I got to roast him. I got to. Any chance I get to roast anybody, I'm taking it. That's just my nature. I got to do it. Good pass left side. That's Sims. Please tackle him. He's the only guy that scored for them. <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> so stupid. Oh my god. Well, how do I gotta do it to him? <laughs> I just gotta do it, man. I cannot pass up an opportunity to poke fun at people. Come on, Joseph. No blocking. Fantastic. And a flag. What? <laughs> what do you mean? Okay. <laughs> I ain't wrong though. Oh man, it still feels bad. I would I would love for you to get your first career interception. I really would. Alright, let's try this again. Again, no blocking. Fantastic. Come on, Zachary! Come on, Zachary! Oh, he needed one block! <laughs> That's all he needed. Come on. Feels extremely bad. I might cry myself to sleep tonight. That's just a given, really. I gotta do it one time in the mic. Come on, bro. <laughs> Throw it deep. Tyler. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, my goodness. That would have been beautiful. Alright, Ballard in the zone. So we got to go with a half-back slammer-jammer. That's right. Let's do this. Really? R really. All that for like three yards. Fantastic. This offensive line is just garbage. Is your headphones having a shortage? It's all good, Jay. No worries, my friend. They're down to seven. And no blocking. This is great. George, get open. Can't throw it. Oh, this offensive line. Get 
Get out of here, cat. Get away from me. I ain't got food for you right now. Alright, fourth and seven. We're not punting it. Let's just go for it. Why not? Really? Come on. What is this? This offensive line is made of wet paper mache. Whose O-line is worse? It, there's no question. It's San Diego's. That is just... There's no question. They're garbage. They're actual trash. And so is that throw. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're going to accept it, and then they're going to end up throwing it deep and probably getting like 50 yards for no reason. The rage? What do you mean, Harris? You have not seen any rage here, sir. Cash just want to see the stream and assault the like button. That'd be nice. Create your own accounts. Come on. Please tackle him. I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. Did I, did I not call that? Except I said it was going to be a pass play. Yeah, taunt. <laughs> yeah, he's still down by two touchdowns. This is the only guy that's done anything on this entire team. He's got three touchdowns, two on the ground, one receiving. Just once, I want to just run straight through the line. My luck, I would, you know, mess it up and pull a Parker Thomas and completely whip on the block attempt. Wow, great. We can't even block on kickoff. What is that? This entire game is just going to collapse on us and we're going to end up losing by a touchdown. Because that's just how it be sometimes. Chug it deep! Pray! Just trying to get away from my own end zone. This is terrible. Choking like the Chargers. Come on now. <laughs> Don't be so hurtful. Okay, nice little run after the catch and a flag again. Wow. What I tell you guys, literally everything is going to go wrong for us now. Everything. It be that way sometimes on Heisman. And of course, they adjust their offensive line to go to the left, or their defensive line to go to the left, because they know exactly where I'm running it. I don't like any of these plays. Awesome. Let's go, Riley. One on one. Riley. Oh, my goodness gracious. BRM Gaming and Podcast. Welcome to the chat. Appreciate you stopping by. Hopefully, you stick around. We have a lovely Discord community if you are interested. The link is in the description below. Nearing 150 members in there. Get them. Oh my goodness, this guy is just unstoppable. I'm telling you guys, we're gonna lose it.
107 yards on seven carries. Great. <laughs> Defense really hasn't done a whole lot. Past about a quarter and a half, I think. Nice pressure on the QB. We got that going for us, I guess. All right, they're down and eight. This is actually a big play now. Boom Johnson, defensive end, is in the zone for the Toreros. Oh, what a tackle. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, that's terrible. Dylan Tong, the star strong safety, is injured on the play. I was using him. My controller never vibrated. He never got hit. What happened? Oh, he got blocked at the end. He got lit up as the play is ending. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Oh my, wow, how, <laughs> how close was that? It's so close I ran into him. Now they're going to go for it, probably. Let's see how close we were. Oh man, so close. So close, guys. I bet you they'll go with a... Uh, blocking scheme this time or not oh not close that time I'm telling you guys we're gonna block one <laughs> we're getting closer man if we just had a little bit more speed on the edge right there I think you would have got it let's go Robbie Really, can you just, can you hold that block for like a split second longer? Because he would still be running. Dylan Tong, luckily just out for the rest of the game. I was really scared that it was going to be something serious for him. Just the way he got lit up. Cut up field. Xavier Wilson still going. Let's go. Good run for the quarterback. He's got 45 yards tonight on 10 carries. That play was stuffed right at the start of it. My goodness. Somehow got two yards out of it, though. I'll take it. Option again. Nice pitch out. And we can't get any blocking. What in the world was that? Quarterback is exhausted. Great. Third down and six. Nope. <laughs> wow, he nudged him out of bounds. Defense going to need to step it up now. Stop him. <laughs> that guy's been their entire offense. Please stop him. Boom Johnson in the zone at defensive end. Let's go. Nice deflection. Flag for holding, too. And let's see. What do I want to do here? Let's decline it. Third down. Third down. 
Harris. No, my guy. No. Okay. That was a terrible play. I like it. Let's go. And they're going to go for a field goal here. That'll make it an 11 point ball game if they are successful. And that is... Oh, he just barely made it. Almost hit the crossbar. That started to hook and it <laughs> almost hit it. Best return of the game. Good Lord. Robbie Ballard picks up eh, maybe nine yards on the carry. That's going to be the end of the third quarter, guys. Get your fours up in the chat. This has turned into a pretty good game. A lot of uh, shenanigans going in the favor of the Lumberjacks. But other than that, it's been pretty fun. Ballard has the first down. Career numbers for him, 30 touchdowns, 3,365 yards on 519 carries. Michael Gregory in the chat. What's going on, Mike? How you doing, buddy? Ballard in the zone again. Runs a man over, still going. Breaking tackles left and right. Carrying defenders. Picks up 15 yards. Let's go, Robbie. That's what I'm talking about. He's still in the zone. You know what? I'm going to give it to him again. What's up? Let's get it. No blocking. Feels bad. Feels bad. Let's go. Let's go, Ballard, for another first down. Let's get it. All right, let's go with something else. Let's go tight end drag. It's a quick pass. Maybe not. Who knows? I'll probably get sacked. Just got done watching Angels in the outfield. A classic, man. What was that throw? Oh, my goodness. My man was wide open. All right, Ballard's back in the zone. We're just going to give it to him again. Let's go, Ballard. He's such a beast. 136 yards on 19 carries tonight. Wide open, Bo Davis, the fullback, first down, and a flag. Oh, my sweet baby Jesus. Wow, Jay, you're just going to call your quarterback out like that. So hurtful. Statistically, I think Calvin Jasper Jr. would be the worst one. Get that block, please. Some, please help. Somebody help. He's wide open. Let's go. Let's go. Touchdown. We desperately needed that. Oh, my goodness. It took forever to get that touchdown. It was such a pain right in the backside. I tell you what. 
<laughs> I tell you what. Extra point is up and it is good. Seven place, 76 yards. Two minutes off the clock. That was a drive just full of Robbie Ballard. It's 41 23 here in Flagstaff, Arizona. Oh my goodness. He muffed the kick. Let's go. And they got a flag. Wow. You know we accept those. Let's go. Harris, you're the worst quarterback. How about that? I just got plowed over. My goodness. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that immediate pressure. That was DJ Payne, the big fella, getting in there for the stop. Come on now. Throw it deep. I bet. I bet you won't. Okay, they did. He's open. Feels bad. And that was Zachary Joseph, the freshman corner, getting beat on that play. I don't think he ever saw the football. No, he didn't. He never made a play on it. Huge flip of the field for the Lumberjacks. What? How? How is that even a thing? Like, what is this? What in the world was that? Sometimes this game just makes me want to take the disc and just throw it out the window like a frisbee. Only on Heisman, folks. Only on Heisman will you see some shenanigans like that one. Yeah, wide open. Okay. Karma strikes back at me. All right, Harris, you're benched for the next game. What's up? Let's see who's on the Heisman list after that. Rob Roy on the kick return. Let's go. Let's go, Robbie. Oh, ankles just got taken out. He's got almost 150 yards. He's not a big play kind of running back, but he definitely gets the job done. He is a workhorse. I just want to run this clock out and get out of here before it's like 70 to 65 or something at the end of the game. Scoring's just not going to stop. And Ballard gets the first down. Let's go. Oh, I'll do it, Harris. I'm gonna, actually, you know what? I'm not going to bench you. I'm going to put you at left tackle, and you can block for Matthews. Because <laughs> we all know your offensive line needs that help, you know? He's doing things detrimental to the team. Three game suspension. <laughs> you know, it wouldn't surprise me at this point. This whole week, we just had so many suspensions. Wow. What in tarnation was that? That's a big feels bad moment. All right. They're down an eight.
Prime time! Let's go! That's what I'm talking about, baby! Superman jump! Spike it! Alright, we're gonna cut away from that so we don't get a flag. But that was awesome. <laughs> Okay, okay, Robbie. Most exciting one yard gain you'll ever see. All right, second down and eight. What's the chances of another preferential treatment suspension? I don't know, man. The way things are going, I wouldn't be surprised if we could see it every week. Look at that, instantly sacked. Oh, that's, that's just lovely. <laughs> oh, man. They do not have a backup quarterback, guys. Sims, player of the game for Northern Arizona. Dylan Tong, player of the game for San Diego. Two tackles, one for loss, two picks, a couple forced fumbles. You know, good stuff. Pick six as well. Castillo is the quarterback. This game will never end. Beautiful kick, and it's 44 to 31. And another good kick where they can't return it. Love to see it. Deep shot. Oh my, I swear, if he caught that again. <laughs> Me and this game, we're going to have words. Oh boy. Oh boy. Zachary Joseph went for the deflection, just missed it. Please just let the clock run out. Let the game end. Get him. Yeah, okay. That, that's a clipping. Hello. Oh, my goodness. They're really not going to call the clipping. Everyone in the entire universe just saw this clipping right here. Ready? Right there. Like, what? what is that? Like, my guy, what are you talking about? Where is it? Right here. Everyone in the entire world. Like, what? his hands are on my back, bruh. What do you mean? <laughs> Come on. Only on Hosman. Wilson's back in the game to kneel it down. That is the final play of the game, guys. San Diego gets back in the win column. It's going to be their second win of the season.
They won their first game of the year and got beat two times in a row. And it started off hot in this game, then Northern Arizona got some shenanigans going and they, they never really ended. Just shenanigans the rest of the game. Feels bad. But they do get the dub, 44 to 38 here in Flagstaff, Arizona against the Northern Arizona Lumberjacks, who are now one and two on the season. All right. I just wanted that game to end. They just didn't want to go away. Let's take a look at the stats real quick. Not a whole lot of defense being played here in this game. Yep, we're going to check all the standings and stuff after the game. Don't you guys worry. Twenty-eight points in the first quarter, and then just terrible things happen. Nine of twenty-four. Good lord. One hundred fifty-six yards for Ballard with a touchdown. Wilson had a touchdown on the ground as well. Bob Davis one carry, two yards, and a first down. Let's go. A couple freshman players in here available for customization. If you just join our Discord community. You can customize one of those two players in week eight. Yeah, they beat the point spread. What was it, one? Dylan Tong just went off in that first quarter. Best freshman core, Jacksonville. What's up? Literally every school except for Southern Utah, just because you asked. Look at that. Nice little 53 yard return. Just needed one block. That's all he needed. Players of the game Tong, Wilson, and Ballard. Sims, Burgess, and Marshall for the Lumberjacks. All right, that was the final game of week five. So we're going to go ahead and let this advance, and we will see the next games for week six, and we'll check out the Sports Illustrated and all that good stuff. What's up, Regear? <laughs> I know you're still here, but I got I to gotta pick on your freshman halfback. Come on, baby. Please stop taking 10 hours to advance the week. Terreros may not have blown a lead, but the Falcons sure did. So hurtful. Oh, Bryant versus William and Mary. I can't wait. We're going to save the game, though, because I don't feel like not saving it, and then the game just dies, and we lose everything. So You're just going to have to deal with it, guys. Also, um... Our next EFL games that you guys will be seeing, hopefully sometime next week. Here they are, week two. Going to be a double header where I don't have enough time to do, you know, four games at a time anymore. So, we're going to have the Maryland Diablos at the Louisiana Bulldogs and the Ohio Stars. I, I think Ohio Stars at the Steamrollers. Or maybe the Steamrollers at Ohio. I don't know. Well, I'll figure that out with Hammer. <laughs> but yeah, those are the next two games for the EFL, guys. Time to rewatch the FCS playoffs for the seventh time. You'd love to see it. <laughs> Look what we got more likes on 13 views than the SFL draft got on 173. Are you serious? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what? 
there was a point in time before the SFL went to um, For the Fans Network that my streams on YouTube were getting more stream viewers, live viewers, than the SFL games were. It was, it was bonkers. It was blowing my mind. All right, here's the next schedule. So, Hammer, if you want to, you know, just write this down, get this on some uh, paper, and, and start cooking these up for me. I love you. All right. So, William and Mary versus Bryant, Smithfield, Rhode Island. Doesn't matter what their record is, what their overall is. It, it's going to be an awesome game. I guarantee it. Eastern Washington at San Diego. UC Davis at Northern Arizona, so we get to see the Lumberjacks again. North Dakota State at Tennessee Tech. Portland State and Cal Poly, that should be a fun one. Saw the Vikings earlier today. Chattanooga at VMI, that's going to be an absolute slaughter fest. Of course, the Mocs do have the 8th ranked rush defense. What? <laughs> what do you mean? Awkward. McNeese State versus South Dakota State in Brookings, South Dakota. Jackrabbits all the way up to that ninth ranking. Of course, VMI, that nice big fat number one ranking. Dayton moves up to number two. They're 4-0 on the season, traveling to Charleston, Illinois, to take on the Eastern Illinois uh, Panthers, who are 0-3 on the season, riding a five-game losing streak. That is just, that's just sad. Florida A&M at Savannah State as they drop to seventh after their loss to VMI, looking to rebound against the Rattlers in Savannah, Georgia. A&M, they love to throw the football. They're 10th in the country. That should be a fun game. Tennessee State at Southern Utah, who jumps up to 4th. They're 4-0 on the year. Tigers are 2-1. That is the game of the week, fellas. And that is it for the schedule. All right, here's the Sports Illustrated. Growing momentum. Cadets extend their win streak to 15 games in a battle of top teams. Yes, sir. Sports Illustrated real quick. Top 25. A little bit of movement up here. As Tennessee State and Savannah State both lost. Jacksonville moves up one spot after putting up 79 points on Southern. Come on now. South Dakota State jumps three spots. Cal Poly up three. North Dakota State up three. UC Davis jumps up five spots after that dub over Northern Colorado. We'll see how far the Bears have fallen. Montana only falls five spots after that destruction by Dayton. My goodness. And Northern Colorado only drops five spots. Okay. Youngstown State up to 18th. Grambling State to 20th. They're 4-0. Awesome. Tennessee State drops 16 spots. Idaho back in the rankings. Haven't seen them since Season 1, I believe. Boise State, Utah State, and Norfolk State in the rankings after a win over NC a and State. They are 3-1 on the season. Give Jacksonville some respect. I know, man. One spot? Really? They moved up one spot in like four weeks. Who is this guy? Hines' performance has the fans in Jacksonville believing in their Dolphins. And he jumps all the way up to number two. Highlight is off the list. Justin Hops drops from second to fifth. And Zoomer Speed to third, Brandon Allen to fourth. But Hines definitely deserved it after that huge performance today. 12 touchdowns on the season, six interceptions. He's also got eight touchdown runs on the year. Just he's a fantastic player. Angry Savannah State fan here. <laughs> What's up, Joseph? How you doing, buddy? It's all right, they'll rebound. Orlandi is honored for his performance against Big Ten foe Montana. I'm not going through all the players of the week because it's going to take forever, and I'm not about that life. For all the pregame hype, Montana didn't hold up their end of the deal. No, they did not. They got absolutely destroyed by Dayton. The Heinzman Trophy. I like it. All right, guys. Let's see. Uh, I guess we could check out season stat leaders real quick if you guys want. Don't forget to slap the like button if you haven't already, guys. Subscribe if you're new. Join our Discord community today to get your college football career started in this FCS dynasty.
We'll be adding new recruits in week eight. Well, before week eight, I should say. Harris, if I have to explain why I timed you out, I, I, I just don't know what to tell you, buddy. All right, let's check out the season stat leaders. We found Sprizzy oh, good through Lord. a Google search, pretty much. I was what, looking what for a way this? to mark. Stupid ads. All right. See who leads the country in passing. Tim Dahl, okay. For Harvard. Touchdown leader, Jason Mott from San Jose State. 15, Junior Harris has 15 as well. Sophomore quarterback for Western Illinois. Interception leader, Jason Jacobs. We'll be seeing him this week. Can't remember who they're facing. I think it was Dayton. Nicholas Hall, seven picks. He's had more interceptions this season than he had last year, I think. Nope, he had eight last season, seven already this year. Definitely going to have to uh, work on that. A couple of them weren't really his fault, just... I don't know, just just bad plays, but listen, guys, don't don't worry about the Sprizzy commercial. All right, don't worry about it. Forget about it. All right. I don't know why I did that anyway, but moving along, it might do it again right here. Bet. Yep, it's gonna do it. All right, rushing leaders. Really, Jesse Powers from the Citadel? What is happening? Really, YouTube, can you just, can I actually do what I'm trying to do here? Good Lord. Forgive me, guys. All right, Harris Gurley is third. Raul Lozano the third is fourth. And I just keep sneezing. Fantastic. All right. Brandon Allen, way down here. Robbie Ballard, 456. Let's see. Touchdown leaders, Harris Gurley with 13. Cam Sanders has 10 for VMI. Zoom Speed with 9. Hines with 8. Brandon Allen with 8. Darius Johnson has 7. VMI just has a great backfield. Longest rush by Greg, Greg Smith, a quarterback from Rhode Island, had a 91-yard run? Oh, what? What do you mean? All right, 20 plus yard runs. It's always going to be our guys. T. Roy Gaines with 11. Let's go. I literally can't stop sneezing now. 53 broken tackles for Robbie Ballard, and it's not even close. Wow. Most fumbles, Calvin Jasper Jr. That is the least shocking stat I've ever seen in my life. Because look at that, 32 career fumbles. Feels bad. And for some reason, Northeastern always has the number one pass catcher. I, I don't understand it. But we're not going to have anybody on here. So, well, at least for touchdowns we will. Jaquan Freeman, 15 catches, 7 touchdowns for Southern Utah. You love it. You really do. Longest catch, Kelvin Hines, halfback for Nevada, has a 95-yarder. The top three are halfbacks. Good Lord. Two hundred and sixty yards receiving per game. That's nuts. All right. Brick wall, thirty seven pancakes, five sacks allowed though. That that's bad. That's rough. Heath Jones, you're gonna have to improve, buddy. Come on now. No MJ Gator to be found. Well, that'll happen in the computer games are just like not giving him the football at all. Logan Tyler, 40 tackles on the season. Whoops. Forget about that. Awesome. Tackles for loss, nobody. Sacks, nobody. Interceptions, Ralph William with seven. Dude is an absolute beast. Look at that. He's going to shatter his career best of eight that he had in his freshman year. 
He is just such a good player. Won the Jim Thorpe Award last season, 86 overall. He'll, I think he's going to end up staying for his senior season because his overall is not, you know, in the 90s. All right, Chris Numa has four. Deacon Cooper with four. Interception yards. Eric McBride, freshman corner, 150. My goodness. Parker Thomas up here on one pick. He's got 89 yards. Deflections. It's everybody. Just everyone. Force fumbles. Logan Tyler again. Cy Summers with four. Future top five pick, guaranteed. Cody Lee Jr. with three force fumbles. Almost recovered. Jericho Stevens, Southern Utah on there. Let's go. Bunch of blocks. Yeah, we don't see those yet. Awesome. A couple touchdowns for Numa. Mike Adams with a touchdown. we got plenty of touchdowns here. Whee! All right, kicking. 56-yarder for Ross Clark for VMI. That is a freshman kicker, folks. So if you don't have a player in this series and you want to kick some field goals, of some very long ones apparently, what's his kick power? 92. Oh, my goodness. But, yeah. Join our Discord community, and you can customize this guy right here and be kicking the longest field goal in the country. That's awesome. Extra points, obviously going to be our guys every single time because, well, all we do is score. So, Kickoffs as well. Touchbacks, 23 touchbacks for Ross Clark. This guy's a beast. I didn't even realize. Oh, my goodness. What? <laughs> wow. All right, let's see. Punt average. Johnny Ligurski, sophomore kicker. He pulls double duty for the Bears. Net average is the best in the country. 42.4. You love it. That is awesome. All right, kick returns. Who we got? Who we got? Nobody has more than one yet this season. Bryson Shields, Prince McCutcheon each have one. And that's it, guys. We've only seen two kick returns for touchdowns? Really? That's actually a mind-boggling stat. What do you mean? Like, what do you actually mean? We do have a bunch of punt returns, though. Always going to have more punt returns than kick returns. What happened to the UC Davis kicker who kicked a 60-yarder? Um, he's still there. All right, let's see. Let's check it out. It was a 51-yarder. He kicked a 60-yarder. Or no, the kicker last season made a 60-yarder, I think. No, that was Quasi Sands from last season. If it'll ever load. Yeah, there it is. He made a 60-yarder last season. That's the longest we have seen. And that is the longest we'll ever see. Like, ever. Ever, ever. Alright, guys. Well, that is gonna be it. Our next four games. William & Mary at Bryant, number three in the country. Eastern Washington at San Diego. UC Davis at Northern Arizona. And North Dakota State at Tennessee Tech. That is going to be it for this stream. Don't forget to slap a like on the video before you leave. Subscribe if you're new. Join our Discord community. And, you know, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys, let's see, maybe Sunday night. Depends on how I feel. If not, it'll be Monday night or Monday morning if I have a rain day and don't have to go out and paint. But until then, I'll see you guys in the Discord. Take it easy, guys.